I think uh, I think it sounds all too familiar. I, it it really hasn't, you know. I can't really feel the talk about transportation because it looks like that's what we already have uh, in that particular sector here in Lagos. That was why I was asking how well you know Lagos to see that the housing issue as well as the transportation, two key issues you've raised here, are almost what the state government is presently doing. What will be that touch that will change things? Perhaps you said you want to deepen democracy. What is it you intend to bring to the table that will make the difference that the ordinary Lagosian will say, yes, APGA is the party? Inclusive, inclusiveness. Aside from this areas I've mentioned. The core message of our campaign is to make everybody who, is, who lives in Lagos to have a sense of belonging, no matter where you come from. To expand and open up the political space and enable all Nigerians living in Lagos to participate in the leadership recruitment process in a manner that would make them feel that indeed they belong here. How can you convince no the average Lagosian who says, uh, who thinks that your party is a, is, a, is a regional party? I'll answer that. There is no commitment without participation, certainly. If you want to get people of Lagos to be committed to what Lagos is about, you have to give them the opportunity to participate. They will no longer see themselves as foreigners, as strangers. There will no longer be host communities and guest communities, as some people are addressed. I don't know of anybody, any, any American, who is a citizen of America in New York, and by the time he moves to Atlanta, he's no longer a citizen, or he's less than a citizen. We need to make progress. Now, you asked a question concerning Africa. Um, Please remind me. Uh, how do you convince the average uh, Lagosian that your party is not a regional one? Oh, first and foremost, don't forget Abga is a national party, duly registered by INEC. And there are requirements for registration for national parties. What makes it national? It is national because it has presence in all the states. All, including Lagos. The membership of APGA in Lagos is robust, very robust. We may not have the kind of, we may not use the kind of electoral strategy other parties use. We have our own special electoral strategies. We are not in the media making noise, putting billboards all over the place, and then um, I don't want to describe the strategy they are using as financial recklessness. And this, the other day, Jimmy Agwaji raised an alarm if I'm not mistaken, concerning the cost of um, camp, the, the, what he believes the APC has spent on his campaign, probably something in the neighborhood of six to seven billion. If those figures are correct, they are outrageous. It means, indeed, there's no consideration for financial prudence on the part of this party. And the implication is, by the time elections are over, and they win. Of course, I know they, we know they, they won't win. But should Lagos people decide that they should, they, 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 are, they, they should get into the saddle? Where are they going to recover this you, much money from? You're sure they will win? I said, I'm sure they will not win. But if the people of Lagos decide okay, I, that they I thought, should... I, I thought I heard you say, because I'm sure they will win. I said they won't win. Okay, That's so what I meant to say. Win. I'm sure they won't win. Yes. Uh, yes, they're playing tricks on us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he talks about... I think the, the question that Suleiman asked you is very important because uh, I, I do know that sometimes uh, APGA, people are not quite sure if it's just a party for the Southeast or if it's a party for the whole of Nigeria. That has come to the fore even in previous governorship elections that have been held in the Southeast. Uh, uh, it would seem that there is that, let's like, say, challenge that your party might face in terms of acceptability. One would say you didn't start at the grassroots, so to speak. You have that grassroots presence, or have you been able to win? You know, have you competed in, yeah, contested, I think, as it were, in previous elections in the state that has given you a footing to be able to say, we have shown what we can do at the very local level. 
this is what we're aiming for next because this is what our party represents, especially here in Lagos. You know, and you have acknowledged as much, that Lagos is a cosmopolitan area. Correct. And as such, it is not just acceptability by the majority of people from the southeast who live in Lagos, but also by majority of people from other parts of the country and even the people who are indigenous here in Lagos, as it were. Let me inform you that APGA has very robust presence in Lagos State. In fact, we know, it's not that we believe, that Abga, Lagos is Abga's prime real estate. It's an opportunity waiting to be seized. The executive, the members of the, 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 the party executive in Lagos, the chairman of Abga is a Yoruba man, for instance. There are a lot of them there, and there, we have presence even, even in, in Ogun State and the, other, the rest of the Southwest. Yeah, I'm wondering, yeah. In, in previous elections, have you been able to show, have you had a showing that has shown that you do have presence oh, in the sure. state? In 2003, Abga presented, a, someone aspired to, to run on Abga platform. He didn't actually eventually become For a For the candidate. governorship? Yes. He didn't eventually become a candidate anyway. He, became an, he was an aspirant for some um, strategic reasons or for some, you know how politics operates. Um, he didn't make it. In 2011, Abga presented a candidate for elections. Well, Mr. Dominic, if, if, you, if you recall. But in 2015, the electoral strategies have changed because the mood of the electors have changed. We are confident, very confident, that if judging from the mood of the electorate, and especially considering the fact that the incumbent APC government has become deeply unpopular. For us, it's an opportunity waiting to be seized. And we, with every sense of modesty, do not think that PDP provides an, an alternative. Afghan has all, it, all, all the potentials. And don't forget the level of resentment in the minds of people in Lagos State, especially the non indigenous so-called. I refuse to, I, I am usually very reluctant to use the word non-indigenous and non-indigenous. It is not right to divide Nigeria into two such things.